Hello! Today I'm going to be character designing, yes, I'm going to be designing a character that um, is based off of a prompt that one of you guys gave me. Put it right up here. The prompt is Butter Queen. Um, that was just an example. They wanted me to do just characters based off of prompts in general, but since I'm too lazy to go find some other prompt, I'm just going to use that one and it seems interesting, so thank you. Butter Queen. So it's obviously going to be a girl, and I'm kind of thinking, you know Stick of Butter, how it's like tall? I'm thinking about doing like a tall character, like very lean and elegant, but like, and obviously golden. It'll be fun. I want the dress to resemble a Stick of Butter, you know what I mean? Maybe I can do like the wrapper? It's going to be one of those like long skinny. And then it's gonna have like that kind of, I don't know how to draw it, but it's that kind of train in the back that kind of like flows out behind you. I feel like this is more like a fashion design than like a character design. <laughs> it's fun though. So it's gonna have that top and it's gonna be zipped together because we're giving it kind of this modern look. It's like less like an old queen and more like a new queen on the runway, get those little dashes, which is like the one table spoon kind of thing. She's gonna have like a cool kind of turtleneck collar thing. We give her like a majestic queen pose. She'll be holding a stick of butter, which means I have to draw hands, and I'm not a big fan of that. Maybe I'll just draw like a really simplified hand. She'll just be holding the butter in her hand. I feel like this needs to be a thing, like it needs to show her extended hand so that I can draw gloves on her, because that's a very queenly feature. I'm gonna draw this like drippy looking glove thing. You know, kind of like it's melting butter down her arm. That'd be very interesting. Very stiff pose, but very regal. I'm gonna give her like the most majestic of all the tiaras too, like crowns. Now she's a queen. Switch that over. Give her golden silky hair. Should it be in a ponytail? I'm kinda thinking no ponytail just because it's kinda like not as busy, but it could be ponytail. I just wanna give her silky hair. Like long, golden, silky. Crown is gonna be. I don't know how to make a butter crown. Might be just a very generic crown. All I can think of is stick butter right now. Is there any kind of butter that I'm like missing? I know there's like tub butter, but I just still don't know how to incorporate that. Her best friend is bread and pan and cakes. For long regal eyelashes, like butter would if butter was a person. She'll have nice golden eyes too. Everything on her will just be gold. I should give her some jewelry. Give her kind of like a straight face, because I don't know, would you, would you smile if you were a butter queen or would you be kind of like too majestic to smile? Faces are really hard, I hate faces. You can cover up this face with hair because she has to have slicked back. You know, like slick back with butter. I think I'm gonna do like a half up, half down kind of hairstyle. I feel like the ponytail won't look great from this position. Alright, so there's kind of the rough draft, I guess. Alright, moving on. I'm gonna do some color and it's just gonna be like golden and yellow and butter colored. I never realized how long it took me to draw. Like, I've been recording this for 14 minutes and I'm only done with the sketch. Like, that's ridiculous. The stick of butter she's holding, it literally just says butter. I don't think normal butter sticks say that, but I always had this like toy butter stick, you know, of like my toy food, my pretend food, and um, it just said butter on it, so we're gonna go with it. Maybe it's fake butter. I don't know her backstory, man. 
If you want to come up with a backstory, you can. Does she have a real name, everybody? Does she have, like, a human name? It's not just the Butter Queen? I don't know. I'm just drawing it. You guys can be the ones to design the character, like, personality and stuff. I'm just designing the exterior. The interior is where it counts, man. All up to you. So on Instagram, there's this kind of challenge going around, and it's like... Or like, I don't know, meme, I guess. Something that goes around all the artists participate in. And it's, um... Where they take the, like, screenshot of just the eyes of all their drawings and stuff. Kind of put it in a collage. And I can't really do that without looking dumb, because my eyes have no effort. Like, I put almost no effort into my eyes when I draw them. They're just like one swoosh, flick, flick, circle. Maybe another circle sometimes, but I'm feeling it. Swoosh, flick, done. I wonder if everybody in her kingdom likes to, um, butter her up. I'm sure if I flip this, it would look really bad. I should try that. I should flip it and see how bad it looks. introduced this to me. It's called like a flesh cloud or something. And it's basically all these different skin tones. Like these are all human skin tones. So I could do something gold and yellow. So before you guys say her skin's creepily yellow, don't say that because there's real humans that have that kind of skin tone. Yeah? Kind of like the idea of her clothes being really light and her skin's more of a darker color. So it kind of pops and it doesn't really just blend into one pasty mess. Ooh, that arm is way thicker than that arm. And half an hour later, I have finished. Kind of like the outcome. It's, it's cool. So, let me know if there's any other prompts I'm going to do. Maybe. If you guys like this video or like the style, it can be like a series or something. So you guys can decide, decide the prompts. It'll be like character designing based off of your prompts or your ideas. So come to your cool, weird, wacky prompts down below and I will read them and maybe do them in the next character design thing. Okay, don't forget to do all that YouTube stuff, um, like or dislike, I don't really care, and bye.